Hi, my name's David and I'm going to tell you about the Consumer Barometer tool. What is the Consumer Barometer? Well, it's a huge piece of research we did where we surveyed about 150,000 people across 43 countries and asked them how they use the internet. It's a fantastic tool because you've got a huge wealth of data for putting together a really concise planning strategy. It helps you understand the role of digital, it helps you understand the user's path to purchase, and it helps you understand the role of online video viewing too. To find the Consumer Barometer tool, you can simply enter consumerbarometer.eu or you can go to the Think with Google site, go to the planning tool section and you'll find it in there. When you arrive on the site, there's lots there to look at and I recommend you have an explore, but the area that I'm going to focus on is the graph builder. When you arrive on the graph builder, down the left hand side you'll see all of the questions that we asked the respondents. These are grouped into three categories. The first is the online and multi-screen world, and this is all how people access the internet and what devices they use. The second section is the smart shopper, and this is how they're using the internet to buy products. And then finally, the third section is the smart viewer, and this is understanding how people are watching videos online. The first section is the online and multi-screen world, and this is all about how people access the internet and what devices they are using. So if I have a look at do people use the internet for personal purposes, I can see that 81% of the population do. Beneath the graph, I can see the number of respondents are 1,250, and you'll find this on every single graph. Next, I might take a look at device usage, and I can see that 71% of the general population have a smartphone. Now where this becomes interesting is where I start to apply filters. Above the questions, I can go into the filters, I can go into demographics for age and gender, and I can look at under 25s. And I can see that smartphone penetration jumps from 71% to 96%. And this becomes really useful when you're planning for different audiences. The next section is Smart Shopper, and this is all around the user journey. This will help you understand people's motivation for purchase, when they become aware of products, how they research, and of course, how they purchase products. If I look at research behavior and see how long people spend on research, I can see the most common response is moments before purchase. I can apply filters to this again in the filter section, in the smart shopper section, and the most recent products bought, I could apply groceries, for instance, and see that most people they do their research just before buying the product. And in fact, 0% are researching months before purchase. But if I were to apply a different category like real estate, I can see that flip altogether and see that most people are spending months researching. Now this is really important when you're planning for different categories to understand the user journey for your consumer. The final section is Smart Viewer, and this is all around online video. Now this is really important, especially when you consider by 2017, 80% of the internet's traffic is going to be online video. Now the first section is general online video viewing, and this is how often people are watching online videos. Again, you can apply the same filters to this to see how it differs by different audience and perhaps by different device. The next section is the most recent online video session, and this will tell you why people are watching online video, where they're watching it. So in terms of why they're watching it, in line with TV, around half of people are watching it to be entertained. But you can also see all these other reasons for perhaps keeping up with the trend or learning how to do something. And this is really, really useful when it comes to, for instance, creating content for this audience. In conclusion, Consumer Barometer is a fantastic tool with loads of data and loads of questions. I really recommend you go in and have a play around and explore for yourself. But if you have any questions at all, you can always come to your Google reps and ask us questions, or you can click on this link here for more information.